Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up Webhook inside HubSpot. So a Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. HubSpot is a leading CRM offering powerful tools. So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can send the new form submission details to Pabli Connect automatically whenever there will be a form submission. So by using HubSpot, I have created a lead gen or a sign up form. Here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission, then I want to capture the form submission details in Pabli Connect and then I can send the data to any other application as per my requirement. So now to begin with the setup, I will go to my trigger window and over here I'm going to search for HubSpot as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new form submission. So this trigger will start working whenever a new form submission will be made. So from this trigger event window, you can select any other trigger event as per your requirement. So as I'm setting up this webhook for a new form submission, so I'm going to select it. So now over here, you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect our HubSpot CRM account with Pabli Connect. So to do that, I'm going to take it to my HubSpot account and over here, I will go to automations and here in automations, I will go to workflows. So here under workflows, these are my existing webhooks that I've added. So I'm going to create a new workflow from scratch. So over here, it will be contact based and I'm going to go with the blank workflow by clicking on next. Now moving to this trigger column. So now I need to set up the trigger. So over here, I'm going to select the same trigger which I've selected in my Pabli Connect. So now over here, I need to select the trigger event. So I'm going to select the same trigger event which I've selected in Pabli Connect. So over here, I will go to when an event occurs. And now over here, I will just scroll down and I will go to form submission. So over here, I've mentioned the trigger event. I'm going to click on save. And you can see that it says has completed form submission. So that means we have successfully set up our trigger event. Now moving to this plus button, I'm going to add the action event as well. So I'm going to select data ops and I'm going to go for send a webhook. So over here, the method will be post. And now I need to mention the webhook URL that I've got from Pabli Connect. So I'm just going to copy the webhook URL from here and I'm going to paste it. So once I've done that, I'm going to click on save. And over here, you can see that a webhook has been added successfully. Now I'm going to give a name to this workflow. So I'm going to name it as new. And now I'm going to click on save. So over here, you can see that we have successfully set up a connection between our HubSpot account and Pabli Connect. So we have mentioned the trigger event and we have mentioned the action event as well. So as we have done this, now we are going to click on review and publish. So I'm going to go to next, 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 and now I'm going to click on turn on workflow. So here you can see that now the workflow is on. So as we have successfully set up a webhook inside our HubSpot account, that means HubSpot and Pabli Connect are successfully connected. So by using this webhook, we are going to send the new form submission data to Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect as well, you can see it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So to do a test submission, I'm going to take you to my HubSpot account. I will go back to workflows. And now over here, I will go to marketing and in marketing, I will go to forms. So here under forms, this is the form that I've created that is a sign up form. So I will go to actions. I'm going to click on share. And now I'm going to open this form in a new tab to do a test submission. So here, let's say that the email is current user at the rate pablitudes.com. The first name is current. The last name is user and the phone number is this one. So now as I fill in the details, I'm going to click on submit and do a test submission. So here you can see it says thanks for submitting the form. That means the form submission has been successfully made and the response of this form submission would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So over here in my HubSpot account under contacts, you can see that a new contact has been created through a form submission. You can see the name that was current user here. You can see the email address and this here was the phone number. So here that means a contact has been successfully created in my HubSpot account and the details would have been sent to Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. 
Over here, you can see that I have received the response and this here is a positive response. That means I have got the form submission details in Pabdi Connect. You can see the name of the form that was sign up form. So I'm just going to scroll down and show you some other details as well. So over here, you can see the phone number that was filled in during the form submission. So scrolling down to other details here, you can see the last name that was user. So I'm going to show you the email address and the first name as well as we have received in the response. So this over here is the first name that was current. Now moving to the email address, I'm going to show you the email address as well and that is currentuser.fabletudes.com. So that means over here in Pabli Connect, we have successfully received the response from HubSpot through a form submission. We have successfully set up a webhook inside HubSpot CRM. That means now whenever a new form submission will be done, then automatically the response of that form submission will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the details of the form submission in Pabli Connect and just by going to this action window, I can send the form submission details to any application of my choice. So we have successfully set up a webhook inside HubSpot and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pabli Connect. So you can reach us at support at If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pabli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pabli Connect and don't forget forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.